postage side was a concern for well, you as well. Well, the postage is paid for. The postage is paid for from the military. But Correct. It's the cost of the printing, the time, the confusion, mainly the confusion. If we would send out those 1,200 ballots and they put the Constitutional Party back on, I would have to send out 1,200 more ballots with the Constitutional Party on there. Also, we will have to notify the military personnel saying the first ballot I mailed out to you, don't vote that because it's the incorrect ballot. If any of those first ballots without the Constitutional Party being on the ballot was voted and returned to me, I would have to return uh, notification to the military personnel saying you voted the wrong ballot, you have to vote the second ballot with the Constitutional Party on it. But even if you had to do that, the postage side was going to be paid? Yes, yes. And, and not out of your budget? No, no. It's, but, but it's still less time. So you're talking about October the 4th, I mailed them out. But if I would have mailed them out September the 18th or September the 21st, and they had to do a double mailing, I'm still mailing stuff out in October. So that's why I waited till I knew with fairly certainty uh, that it was going to be um, correct and the ballots I had in my hand to go out to the military personnel was the correct ballot. When was the, the date uh, when the decision came down about the Constitution Party on the ballot? I got it um, like the 28th or the 29th of September, I think. And then you mailed them out October yeah. the 4th? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And again, you have to realize uh, this comes in. I'm sorry. Go ahead, sir. I think. You have to realize this is a work in progress, too. We're not only having military ballots coming in. We have over um, 4,000 civilians. We have, you know, this is a large county, St. Clair. You know, it's one of the largest, and it's the largest downstate county. So we have a lot of work, and, and we do a fine job. So it's not only the military I had to worry about. I had to worry about the civilians and everything else we did. But again, we waited because we did not want to confuse the military personnel. We was going to waste time in mailing. We was going to waste time in notification of these people. And I thought it was a clear process to do it this way. Now, there was only 12 ballots came back after the November 2nd deadline, 12. That was it. That could not be voted. Everybody else voted their ballots, that wanted their ballots, and there was only 12 out of this large number of people that voted. All came back past the November 2nd deadline, so we did not count those votes. But I thought the deadline was extended for St. Clair County. No, it was postmarked. It was postmarked. It was, the deadline was, it was still the postmark, and then you counted it. So the postmark still had to be postmarked, correct? Maybe I clear. Yeah. The, the, the ballots have to be postmarked by the end of Election Day. Uh, but you can continue to receive them for two weeks after the election. If you receive them later than two weeks, I think the deadline. So they're still counted. If they're two weeks after because of the extension. They have to be postmarked. They have to be postmarked, yeah. they have to be postmarked po before. They have to be postmarked okay. by November the second. Okay. So there was a lot of them, probably a hundred of them, that came in after November the second. That was postmarked before November the second. That we counted. You know, through the to the November the 18th to November the 19th, so you're only looking at 12 ballots that was not counted. This is by the same amount I received every election. 12 ballots not counted at all. Yes, yes, sir. Because they did not meet the postmark. But if you're looking at a race like in Vermillion County for county clerk, where it's a one vote difference, those 12 votes could have been really important. It could be, but again. Uh, that happens in every election. That happens in every election that we send out ballots. We have civilian ballots in larger numbers that don't get counted because they're late. So my point, I was being safe. I thought I was being, uh, being diligent with the county's money, being diligent with not having all this confusion going on. And the only mistake I made was, again, I, didn't, I did not follow the federal law. Okay. You're I, admit being, you're being, I admit that. I admit you're being that. diligent, but you I, didn't follow the federal law. Well, 
<laughs> Senator Brady, we have representatives. That's Representative Brady. That's well, representative. One. We have senator, uh, representative senators a day on the health care not following the law. So, I mean, it goes both ways. No, I, so, I, so I, I just want to just well, clarify that you're being diligent, is, but okay. you, also, that's would, not what the law dictated. You know, then also what I would like to say, too, in defense in my office, this summer we sent out postcards to the 1,200 people we have on file who wanted the absentee ballot. We sent out postcards to those people making sure the addresses were correct. We had over 500 of them came back. 350 of them, we corrected their addresses because of the diligence of my office. If we didn't, was not forced to do that, uh, Representative, I did this on my own to make sure the addresses was gonna be cleaned up. If I didn't do that, it would have been 350 more military absentees would not have gotten their ballots because of the change in addresses. So the, the, the overriding purpose for you in not sending them out was your fear of having to reprint the ballot and the cost associated with that. And the confusion to the voter. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Um, thank you, Madam Chair and Lady. Um, State State Board of uh, Elections uh, did contact you and, and told mm -hmm. you that you were to send them out. Yes, advise me, not told me, advise me. Federal statute said you should send them out. Yes, sir. But you chose not to. Yes, for the reasons I stated. But we have laws not for the discretionary people who say I want to follow this law or I don't want to follow that law. We have laws to be followed. And you had the largest number of uh, military ballots of any county that were not sent out. Mm -hmm. uh, you knew your colleagues were doing it. Uh, it just um, beside myself that you you still chose not to do it, um, given all the, the precedent, the federal law, the encouragement from the State Board of Elections. So um, I guess I'm wondering if we pass more laws, um, what in fact that will do. So I really don't have a question. Thank you.